Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The person on your mind. They are feelings for you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. They are intentions towards you. We have the Four of Pentacles. Their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Ten of Swords. The challenge between the two of you. We have the Death. And the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, at the bottom of the deck, their general overall energy towards you. We have the King of Pentacles. Signs that I'm seeing for you guys so far, we have Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, and Virgo. So those are the signs that I'm seeing that it could be any. Okay, it is a general reading. Just because I didn't mention a specific sign does not mean the reading cannot resonate for you. It absolutely still can. Okay. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have separated with. I do feel like you've experienced an ending with this person, but I feel like this person is having a hard time with that. Now, for a small number of you, you may not have ended things yet with this person, but it may be heading in that direction, and that would be because I do feel like somebody here was not sure if they wanted something long-term, stable, committed, or serious. They may not have been looking for a relationship or a commitment at that time, okay? and But I do feel like it's kind of at this space where either they've already lost you or they're very close to losing you because of that, okay? Now, I do feel like somebody here is spending a lot of time with that. Seven of Pentacles can be a card of like, is it worth it? Um, you know, he has planted all these crops. He has put all this time, effort, and energy into it. And now he's kind of looking at what's grown and he's asking himself like, is it worth it? Was it worth all the sweat, blood, and tears? Should I plant more crops next year or should I do something else? Like, was it worth it? Um, and I feel like this person's in that same space where they're asking themselves, you know, I, I don't want to lose Scorpio. Is it worth, you know, giving up my freedoms or is it worth taking a chance and, you know, getting into a commitment to have them in my life? Is it worth whatever it is that they're feeling like they're having to work on, sacrifice or give up in order to be with you and it be in a healthy way? So with this King of Pentacles energy, I do feel like somebody is like, you know what? I do feel like Scorpio is worth it. I do want that. The King of Pentacles can be a card of taking a connection seriously, long-term, stable, commitment, dedication. And then we have the Three of Cups. That can be like reconciliation or spending time together. Like they miss you in their life. We have the Sun energy. Like they're realizing that, you know, they enjoy being with you. They enjoy being in your company. They're happy when they're with you. And that it's worth whatever changes they need to make in order to make that happen. We have this Nine of Wands energy. Not wanting to let it go. Not wanting to give it up. We have that lover's right underneath that. They feel a very strong connection with you. The Eight of Pentacles and the Magician, they feel like this is definitely worth working on, putting the effort in towards. I really like this, Scorpio. I feel like somebody either has lost you and they realize, I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Or they are realizing they're about to lose you and they realize they don't want that here. Now we have the Four of Pentacles energy. For their intention i feel like this is just them holding on to you like they're they don't want to let you go and if there it means they have to let go of other things you know habits behaviors you know things that they thought that they wanted there i feel like they're willing to let those things go so they don't have to let you go here so we have the ten of swords i feel like like i said for some of you guys things could be ending or they have already ended but with this death energy they're having a hard time accepting that they don't want that to be the case I feel like you're going to get an offer from this person. And I feel like it is going to be a very solid offer. I'm very happy that of all the aces, it's the ace of pentacles that you guys have here. Because the ace of pentacles is one that has long-term potential. It is something that is, you know, serious, long-term, stable, committed. So 
I do feel like you're going to end up with a very serious offer from this person, and I do feel like they've thought it through. I don't think this is something they're just saying um, so that you don't go or saying to just get you back. With that Seven of Pentacles, it definitely looks like it's something that they have truly thought about here. So I really like this. I feel like this is a huge turnaround. I don't really see uh, turnarounds like this uh, too often, so I, I do like to see this for you, Scorpio. The signs I'm seeing, I see uh, Cancer here as well at the bottom of the deck. I see Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. Those are the signs I'm seeing on top of the ones I gave you guys earlier. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any, okay? But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.